You're listening to the My Morning Devotional Podcast, episode 830. Today's Devo is called, This is the Day. Hey, I'm Allison Elizabeth, a faith-filled, coffee-obsessed baker from Miami, Florida. As my dreams widened and my to-do list got longer, I found it harder to find devotional time. After seeing many people struggle to do the same, I set out to produce a five-minute daily dose of heaven. This is the My Morning Devotional Podcast. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Welcome back to another episode of the My Morning Devotional Podcast. Guys, today is a good day to have a great day. And if you are tuning in today for the first time, just wanted to take a quick minute to introduce myself. My name is Ali, and what we do here is pray together every day, Monday through Friday. And in this August, we are going to have a fantastic month. I just know it. And so today we're going to be reading in Psalm chapter 118, verse 24. It's a beautiful verse. It says, This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And I just wanted to make sure that we start off our day today and as we go into this weekend, knowing that this is the day that the Lord has made and we should just rejoice at everything and at everyone and at every situation and be glad in it. I feel like joy is definitely a choice and hear me when I say I understand that things happen. Yesterday we talked about God giving us the ability to cast our burdens onto him. We talked about how his yoke is light. We talked about how he is gentle. He is near the brokenhearted. And so with that, let us translate all of that and understand that we can choose to be filled with joy on a day-to-day basis, no matter what the circumstances look. And so this week, a very close friend of mine, my absolute best friend, her aunt was diagnosed with cancer, a very brutal cancer, one that we were encouraged not to look up so we can continue to keep the faith We're in the physical. This is just a doctor's report. We know that in the spiritual, we have a healing father who is going to come and surround her and surround the doctors and the nurses that are going to be attending to her as she goes through this journey. What I want us to focus on is that no matter what happens in the physical, doctor's reports, broken hearts, relationships ending, even the grief of of losing a loved one, if we can turn that and look at the joy, knowing that one day we will be reunited with our loved ones, knowing that they're no longer in pain for those of you walking through grief. And then the joy knowing that God is a healer and he is continuing to move and your story is not done yet. And so looking at life and saying, today is the day that the Lord has made. Let's be glad in it, no matter what happens, no matter what you're facing. So that when you go into this Friday, Saturday and Sunday, you're prepared for an amazing weekend No matter what the circumstances look like, you can go have a great breakfast, you can grab a good coffee, you can go watch a movie with your loved ones, you can do something, you can go to the beach, you can walk, watch the sunrise, watch the sunset, and watch how your mind starts to shift, and you can look at the things that the Lord has made, and you can rejoice and be glad in it. So the prayer for today. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for this Friday. We thank you for the ability to be glad. We thank you for the choice of joy. We thank you that you give us that ability that in the natural and in the physical when things happen, we can cast those onto you and we can choose to be joyful that you made this day, Lord. So we go outside and we look at the sunrise, we look at the sunset, we remember that you feed the birds in the sky, we remember that the rain washes away and it feeds your plants and your beautiful trees and if all of that nature is in perfect balance, we too can be in perfect balance with you. Just like you take care of all of those things, how much more will you take care of us? We thank you. We love you. And today we are glad that this is the day that you have made. It is in your son's mighty name that we pray today and every day. Amen. So there you have it, your five minute daily dose of heaven. Thank you for tuning in today. I pray these devotionals empower you to take on your day. Make sure to follow the My Morning Devotional account on Instagram at My Morning Devo. There you will find quick links to subscribe to our podcast and the written devotionals. Until tomorrow, I pray that not only your latte is strong, but your love for Jesus is stronger.